Hey guys, it's Tom. Um, I'm making a video, um, probably about a 15 part series, 20 part series of um, how to train yourself to become an assistant manager at a 7-Eleven. Um, and in these videos, I'm going to teach you how. Um, I'm going to draw video diagrams that aren't the best, but they will um, be sufficient enough for you guys to learn. Um, today I'm going to go over a few things. Um, ending of a shift, at the end of your shift, um, how to count down the drawers, um, clocking in, clocking out, very, 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 sp you know, minor things. Okay, um, so the first thing you're going to do is go in the back, in the back in computer, top right corner, clock in. Okay, you're going to have a two digit code followed by a four digit code that you, you type in. Alright, after that it'll say automatically clock in. You come up, let's say you have to end the shift right then and there with the person who is recently working. What you'll do, you will count down one drawer, then you will end the shift on the computer, you'll log in on the computer, you know, the the um, register like you did in the back. Um, you'll go to other function, you'll see a blue button for that. Um, end shift slash day. You'll do that and you only end day at the end at 6 a.m. So let's say it is 6 a.m. So we'll say you're ending the day. So you end the day. So, and you do it only once a day for ending the day. So, you end day, okay? You count down your drawer on the sheet of paper that we have. Um, I, I have yet to get a sheet of paper. I, I'll have to show you that um, in the next video. Um, and then, um, after that, the uh, registers will um, print out automatically the... Um, transcript of everything that happened on each register, um, how much each register earned, how much took in, how much pulled out, blah, blah, blah. So, um, once you have that, um, you only use one register, the one that you counted out, um, that being the new shift, and you count down the other register, um, the one that hasn't been counted out, um, will you use the other one that's, you know, already counted? So you drop all your tens and twenty dollar bills that you had into the safe below you, um, and you log in just the same you did with the um, computer in the back and with the register. So then, um, once you're done writing down both shifts, um, you uh, well you can end the safe in the middle of this, um, and once you end the day on the safe, you'll log in, you'll see other, or, or um, other function, I think it says something like that, um, and then it'll say end day slash shift, click it, are you sure you want to end the day? Yes, you click that, alright, and then after that, it'll process for one second, then it finally, um, prints out in the back the paperwork that you need for the safe. Um, and then right after that you'll see there's orange slips. There's two orange slips um, with barcodes on them. You're going to want to enter enter in the first slip in the first slot where you can drop money and the next one in the next slot that you drop money. Those are called bookmarks. The bookmarks are to make sure so we know you know how much we profited off of each day um, and how much we dropped in that segment of time so um, once the bookmarks are dropped they are recognized as bookmarks they will show up once you drop them in the safe um, and then you will go on the back after you're done dropping those uh, orange slips in um, and bring the paperwork up to the front and then when you bring the paperwork up to the front you enter in your data in the mod and what the mod is it's like a uh, I describe it to people as an outdated iPad and I'm going to show you a diagram here and the mod 
it looks like this. When you look at it, it's going to look like this. It says mop, blah, blah, blah. It shows login. You put your two and your four digit code in. Okay? Then you come to this screen. It says ordering, register safe counts, lottery counts, uh, CBT, and log on ISP. Okay? You're going to pick register and safe counts. Okay? Once you click that, it'll automatically take you to this screen. Now, depending on whether the manager um, ended the cash report for the day, you might have only one or two of these, um, sometimes even less. Oh, my cat always gets in the way, damn it. Um, so you click on one of them. We are entering data in for the third shift. So that's what you click on. Then there's a thing up here, right here, register. We're going to enter, it says one, but we're going to enter and register two first. Okay? And register two is going to look like this, except for the tubes. We're not going to have, we're not going to have that. It's going to be a single one of this. You're going to enter in how many you have the um, pennies, nickels, dimes, um, quarters, blah, 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 singles and fives. We never keep tens in. And sometimes you'll have the, the gold dollars. Um, I usually add that in the other, um, right there. Um, and then uh, with register one, um, it will look like it'll look like this. Um, and for other on the red register one, you'll have backup pennies um, because we don't put that in the safe. Um, so pennies, you'll probably have like ten dollars worth of pennies um, rolled up right near the safe. So um, you'll add that to your other as well. Um, and then it'll give you an automatic total at the bottom right here. Um, and then below that, I forgot to add, it'll say um, end shift final amount. You put in blank because that might not be the exact amount. The manager fills that in later. So um, once you have those counts for register one and two, um, you actually just pre repeat the process um, after you're done putting in register two. You put in, you go back to the same home page, register one, then you do this. I'm sorry, I skipped that step. And then um, the paperwork that you grab from in the back um, will have the number of the tubes that you need, um, and it'll show it on the top page. Um, you'll see these numbers. Um, it, there will most likely be 11s and 10s and 9s um, showing, um, and that's your tube count, so you'll just enter in how many you have of each one. Your tube count is for when you have to drop money if you run out of singles or fives or nickels, dimes, quarters. Um, and that's how much um, slot one is usually um, reserved for like uh, five dollar bills, slot two um, singles. So you have 11 stacks of single um, singles in the tube that drops when you need money. And um, the singles come in increments of 20. You have four fives in the first tube, um, and then 50, 40, 50, 40 um, for quarters, nickels, dimes, um, and not pennies. Uh, pennies are excluded because they are out of the safe. But um, anyways, I have like seven rolls of um, nickels and... Um, can't see what I wrote. Yeah, 11 um, for the tubes of the uh, dimes, I guess. I, I can't remember. Um, but anyways, that doesn't matter. And then you'll have your total down here. It'll automatically say. So then after that, you have written down both of your totals. You add your totals onto the paperwork of where you wrote down of how many you have of each um, you got to write down your total on that piece of paper. Um, don't forget about that. Forget about that piece of paper that you have. Um, so that's how you enter in data for your shift. Um, some places um, will or will not, depending on everybody's rules are different, um, make you under lottery counts, um, where it, they had that option earlier. Lottery counts when you write down the scratch-offs. 
um, I'll just go over this really quickly. Um, when you write the scratch offs down, um, there's the regular scratch off. Like it'll it'll show on the sheet what you have to write down, um, like one through twenty four, and the the scratch offs will have the numbers on it in the back. Um, you'll flip the back of the scratch off up. There's a four uh, four um, digit number at the beginning of the ticket. That ticket, that's the identification number for the ticket. You write that down, that down in the blank space first, and then the last two numbers before the parentheses numbers are what ticket number you're on. You write that ticket number down, and you write that down on the physical piece of paper um, that you have for your shift. And then, depending or not um, whether or not the manager wants you to put it in physically in the mod. Um, during your shift. Um, like I said, every place is different. Um, so yeah, I tried to wrap that up um, before 15 minutes went by. So that's all the data you need to know for ending shift or ending day um, for mod or whatnot. Next video, um, I'll just go over more procedures um, and everything and uh, I'll teach you guys how to do basic ordering. Then I'll get into more advanced ordering, you know, ordering for your venues whatnot so um, I'll get more into depth about that in the later videos coming up so um, hope you guys liked it um, give me feedback if you need um, just let me know um, and I'll try to help you guys but uh, if you're ever interested in working for 7-eleven um, th these are the videos that you need to watch um, there really aren't that many out there um, the reason why I'm making these videos it's uh, it's very hard to get into 7-Eleven, I know it's a really crappy business and it's minimum wage anyways, but it's even hard to find those jobs right now. And it's not about all, what you know, it's about who you know. And I got in because I was friends with the manager at, at my other store. So I've been with them for going on two years now. So um, it's, it's about who you know. So um, that's why I'm making these videos so you can educate yourself so you can have a chance out there because I know it's hard. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later.